Well, hello there, and welcome to my channel, Fabulously Functional. This is Bev in Beverly's Kitchen. Amen. And so, I've, I've already made one video. I made a, a video making a pomegranate salsa and also a spirulina green smoothie. I did this on my Facebook page, so... If you want to see that, you got to go over to my Facebook page, Bev's Midday Cafe. Bev's Midday Cafe. But this YouTube channel, Fabulously Functional, I'm going to make a cranberry salsa. You know, we're getting ready for Thanksgiving. <clears throat> and um, the uh, all the Advent uh, holidays. And so um, we've got... Um, cranberries that we use all the time but we always add a lot of sugar to them you know to make our sauces and our chutneys but this particular uh, dish um, is heart healthy I'm going to believe it's delicious I've never tried it before never tasted it before so we're going to try it and then you're gonna watch me taste it for the first time okay uh, but meanwhile I'm still drinking my spirulina smoothie mmm it really tastes like mango and banana, but spirulina, if you add it to anything, it's instantly a green smoothie. Mm. So I made that too, which uh, helps us to stay healthy and stay ahead of COVID-19, if it hasn't already caught up with us. But even if it catches up with you, if you ingest that spirulina daily, then that disease will not take over your body and you won't find yourself in a hospital um, under traditional medicine. If you take natural medicine, you don't find yourself in a hospital trapped without your loved ones being able to come to you um, under traditional medicine. So let me get off of that and get on this. Uh, well, let, well, let me show you. I gotta show you this pomegranate uh, salsa that I made. Look at that. And it tastes wonderful. I'm nibbling on that too. So I'm nibbling on, I'm drinking the green smoothie, the spiraling the smoothie, and I'm also nibbling on this pomegranate salsa that is to die for. Put this on your table for Thanksgiving. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, that's enough of that. So, <clears throat> I'm still getting these recipes from this book right here. Let me hold it where I can, you all can see it. There we go. Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease Cookbook. Um, and this is by... Anne and Jane Esselton, um, who are related to the renowned Dr. Esselton, who talks about how to reverse coronary artery disease. Okay? So, this book is wonderful. I've done a lot of things on my YouTube channel that they have, um, that they created in this book. So... Got to give props to who they belong. Okay? Alright, so... Um, in here, it's called the Down Under Cherry Salsa. Okay. The Down Under Cranberry Salsa. Sorry, not cherry. Cranberry. So here's these beautiful cranberries. I have 12 ounces of fresh, clean, beautiful cranberries loaded with antioxidants as long as they're fresh. Once you cook them, you take a great deal of the nutrients from them. So when you cook them and then you add sugar to them, you basically get fiber. I'm just saying. So I'm not going to cook them. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with them. Okay, so I've got that. The other thing I need, according to the recipe here, it says half of a large jalapeno. Now, this this is a large jalapeno to me. 
That may be too large. But that's large. Okay, so I'm going to do it. Half of it. And it said half of it. And then I need to seed it. So that means take the seeds out, Beverly. No problem. Now, after I do this, I can't touch my face and nose or nothing. No more. <laughs> because it will burn. It's burning my eyes a little bit right now, just seeding it. Okay, so here is my seeded uh, half of a large jalapeno pepper. So I've got, I've seeded half of them, put the other half over here. All right, so I got that. All right, and then I need three tablespoons of fresh lime juice. Now it says fresh lime juice, but I don't have time. I got plenty of limes over here. But three tablespoons of fresh lime juice is probably three of these. And it's not that I don't have the limes. I don't have the time. <laughs> but it does call for, I think, does it call for, nope. It doesn't call for any zest. But I may add a little zest anyway. But So I've got my lime juice here. I've got my jalapeno peppers. And what else is this? Pure maple syrup. I've got my pure maple syrup right here. And then three to four green onions, sliced. So I've got one, two, three. I'm going to just do five, just to be on the safe side. Okay, they're already clean, ready to go. I'm going to slice those up. Got my green onion. Um, two cups of fresh cilantro leaves, not chopped. Okay, two cups of fresh cilantro leaves, not chopped. So... I think this is about one cup and then another cup. I'm just grabbing them out of my bowl here. Already been washed. All right. Okay, so what I'm supposed to do, y'all, this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to take a food processor. Right here, got my food processor. I've dropped my blade in here, like so, like that. Um, I'm gonna add my cranberries to this food processor. This is 12 ounces of cranberries. Now, they say you can use frozen if you want, but I prefer fresh because, believe it or not. When, when things are frozen, uh, they are cooked a little bit first before they become frozen. So you kind of kill some of the enzymes and nutrients in it. So fresh is always better. All right, so I got, I got my cranberries in there, 12 ounces of cranberries, half of a seeded large jalapeno pepper. Drop that in there. Then I've got my green onions. Then I'm going to add, it said four stalks of green onion. Okay, got that. Then I've got my two cups of cilantro. I'm going to throw that in there. I'm going to tell you, all this smells wonderful. Just the aroma. I haven't even tasted it or blended it yet, but the aroma. And uh, here is my... Um, Three tablespoons of lime juice. What did I do with my... Hold your milk. Okay, so three tablespoons of lime juice. One. Two. Three. Three tablespoons of lime juice. One and a half to three-fourths cup. Pure maple syrup. Now, if they say one and a half, two, three, four, y'all know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to go with the three fourths because I like sweet. But this is a good sweet. This is a plant based sweet. Pure maple syrup. Look at that.
And it's three-fourths cup pure maple syrup. I'm gonna pour it right over all those other fresh ingredients. This is the way to eat during COVID, raw. Raw and fresh. So you can get the enzymes you need to fortify your body so that your body can fight off disease. Okay, so I've got everything in here. I've got every, and it smells wonderful. So now I'm gonna put the lid on it, just like this, and we're gonna go over here. Now it says, if I want it, if I want it to remain um, a salsa, then, you know, then, then pulse it, um, don't pulse it a lot. But if I want to make it a relish, you know, depending on what kind of texture, if you want it to be a relish, you're going to have to pulse it a little bit more. But if you want it to remain a salsa, then you only pulse it a little bit. Okay, so let's see what we got here. A uh, little bit of noise. Hold your milk. I'm going to tell you what, it looks beautiful. I can't even imagine. What it tastes like. Okay, I think I'm going to stop there. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. take a little bit of it out of here and I'm going to put it in this bowl and I'm going to bring it over to you closer so you can see it look at that it looks wonderful look at that now I'm going to taste it now, remember, I put a half of a large jalapeno pepper in here. So, this may blow my face off. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Y'all. Everybody get this recipe. And put this on the table for Thanksgiving, please. But not only put this one, but you got to do the pomegranate one too. <laughs> and just have a bunch of whole grain uh, tortilla chips, and crackers, and hummus, and fresh cut vegetables. Just have a lazy Susan full of that stuff. And watch people devour it. And here's, here's, here's the wind. In the words of Pastor Gail Dudley in News in Motion, here's the win. The win is they're going to be eating healthy and tearing it up. Okay, I'm done. That's the end of this video. I got to move on because I got grandbabies to tend to in a short while. But listen, 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 listen. Putting this on here. Look. Mm. Mocha grain, whole grain, took to your chips. Some Aldi. Organic. With that, I'm going to take another sip of spirulina. I feel just great eating all this delicious, healthy stuff. I feel just great. So, thank y'all for joining me. Love y'all. May God bless you. And may heaven smile upon you. It's always our prayer. Bye-bye.
Mm. It don't want to let me go. Mm. 